Hey, all, it's Cherokee Starfish. Can you believe that it is once again time for some more betrayal in Antara? Our boys have been working really hard this last little while, and time just flies when you're having fun, but uh, we are full of Sen water, and we have everything that we need, I think, including this very cursed little doll right here. If you were not here last time, please head on over to YouTube and uh, check out the playlist because whew, this was an adventure. I'm not even going to explain it. I'm going to leave that mystery for you to find out. And what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to say that uh, we have to wrap that quest up by heading over here to East Bank. Now, we could fast travel, but... What we're going to do is we are actually going to head north through the mountain pass. And we're going to walk down the road to the east. Because since we did fast travel last time, that means that uh, the road between this first intersection here heading over towards Durst, we did not really get to explore. All right, all right, I get it, game. There we go. So, I'm interested to see what we have in store, because there are going to be some encounters and things, presumably. Um, maybe some treasure chests. But yeah, this area right here, going down this direction. See, we took the road up towards Everton, right? All through here, and we explored this area. But we did not go this way. So it's time to see. Because we've been to Durst. But we just have not been this way. And this whole area here is so interesting. It's full of little nooks and crannies. These little hillocks here. Have hidden a bunch of treasure chests and things from us before. See, look here. This random side path. Which you know surely has to go to something. Hmm. Hmm. There's another one. Oh, I see a treasure chest over there. I'm trying to stay out on the the lookout for like two men. Oops. Shh. Listen. I thought I heard pebbles falling, like someone missed his footing. Hey, William is also on the lookout. Thank you, my guy. Thankfully, it is not Chumen. It is just mercenaries. We know what to do with mercenaries. Especially now that we have all of these new spells. Check it out. Adrenaline, of course, has been a real help. But look, we now have muscular decay. The opposite of adrenaline. Targets an enemy reduces strength by 20 points. Target regains 2 points of strength on each of its actions and of course this is going to scale a little bit. Yeah, it looks like it's the same thing. It's going to reduce by 2 uh, points for every t like one strength that we spend. And we can do that in increments of 2. Yeah. So that's a weakening spell, the opposite of adrenaline. Really awesome. Another good debuff. I think, see, we took a look at Combust last time, so that's the other big new one. Alright, well, let's go ahead. We're going to lay in with a lightning storm. William is going to follow up on the same guy here. And I'm really hoping... Yes, good, good, good. That's what I wanted. For them to stay on William... Oh, you missed. Oh, you missed. Oh, how does that feel? How does that feel? Do you love it? All right, here we go. Adrenaline. Let's see, what should we do? Let's start with a 20 point increase. This has been a really effective combo. Let's just make William stronger after hitting everybody with lightning. 
Wow, and then immediately it did he whiffed it and did nothing. Okay, sure. That's actually pretty funny. I want William to come down here and get this guy so that that way Aaron can hit the mage. It's playing it risky to leave that mage alive, but I feel as though we have confirmed what some of you suggested, uh, both here in chat and over in the YouTube comments, which is that um, if you let an enemy mage cast spells where Aaron can see it, uh, then he actually will get um, increases in that type of magic. So, like, for example, if somebody casts a uh, lightning bolt, then he's going to get a bonus to, like, electricity, for example. Another emulsify? No, hot foot. Oh, well, thank you. That moved me out of your line of sight so that you can't hit me again. Genius. All right, William, get up there. Come on. Oh, really? Oh. Really? Okay, well, nobody died except the bad guys, so. Man, we've got so much food. Just so much. Alright, let's fix this. He did take a hit. Now, he took a hit too, but... Okay. I was going to say it was mostly magic, so... Alright, let me make sure to mark this, because we do want to come back for that chainmail. There we go. Hey. Love it. Okay, now. What kind of chest? Oh, there we go. That lucky charm again. Love it. Does not appear to be trapped. Okay. Ring of welcoming. We know how this works. There we go. Ooh, okay. Hmm. So we have some lockpicks, we have some earth end poison, we have some talicore dust, and we have some wine. Okay. Uh Do we need any of that? We have room for any of that, really. We haven't needed the Talacor dust yet. I don't see why we would need the wine at this time. And then the earth end I don't want to pick up until we use up some more oil. And of course the lockpicks were good. They seem to last mostly forever. <laughs> yeah, some some thief was, you know, packing a uh, a lunch, I guess, and was like, oh, dang it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to mark this as not empty, and then I'm going to put our ring back on, and we will move it along. Okay, let me go ahead and save, because we did successfully pick that. All right. Go back and scout this area that we kind of passed but didn't fully explore. I don't expect to Shh. find. Oh, listen. I thought I heard pebbles falling, like someone missed his footing. Well. Okay then. I was about to say. Y'all heard me. I was about to say. There we go. Let me do that. Did that cut it down? No. Okay, well, whatever, that's fine. He doesn't need the other one on anyway. Not, like, while he's camping. Shadowing doesn't really do anything. Hmm. Okay. Oh, hey, his spellcasting's almost maxed out. Nice. Nice. And have any of these tagged skills gone up to maximum? No, of course not. No new spells? Darn it. Well, fine. Okay, well, let's just dive on into this. 
I figured that there probably wouldn't be much, but hey. An ambush, that's fine. Okay, then here's what let's do. Let's start with a 30-point strength bonus on William, who is then going to go immediately over... Oh, man. The Chumon uh, women generally tend to be archers, but we've seen them kind of mix and match all over the place. I'm just going to hit the guy in the middle. We're going to have Aaron play support this time while William takes most of this on himself. Okay, we have nine stamina. Let me rest. Okay, good, good, good. They're all going to beat on him. I mean, we don't enjoy that, but... Okay, let's see. We haven't gotten to try this yet. Let's try our new Libra spell, our scan spell. Okay, at that distance, Aaron was able to assess the following. Range 3, Archery 50, Strength 23, Stamina 40. Okay. So this basically tells you, like, I guess if you had maximum assessment versus this monster or something. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's how I... F <laughs> that's kind of what goes through my head, too. Uh, because it's like... Uh, enemies that you can see... Th I, I think I even said this last stream, actually. Uh, if you can see an enemy, then the game is like, Oh, no, you can't camp here. It's dangerous. But then if you, like... Um, if you sense an ambush, and then you just plop down where you're at for, like, you know... 12 days. And the game's like, no, that's legit. And honestly, I have to hand it to these enemies for waiting so patiently. Like, I can't be mad at them. Even if they kick the crap out of us in this fight. Like, I don't think I'm allowed to be mad at them because they just, they, they waited so tolerantly while we prepped ourselves for them. Okay, William's got this. Even if the spell is fading, it's 1v1 now. So Aaron is just going to recover stamina because the more he rests, the less we will have to rest afterward. There we go. All right. Very good. Nice clean fight. There we go. Now see, that's a plan. It's like, I think that there's an ambush. Like, well, if somebody tries to ambush you, you ambush them right back. Honestly. Ooh, hey, look at this. <gasps> Enchanted armor or something armor. Ah, it's been treated with ice resistance. Hmm. Resistance is iced. I don't think we've found uh, anything that does that yet. We have found this thawing belt I maybe that's it hmm we haven't used it yet but it's supposed to give us like you know ice resistance obviously um, but I'm not sure if it's one of those types of items that you need to sort of like rub it on your armor or if you use it to cure a condition, and that's what the way that I interpreted it. Is like if you if you get frozen or if you have some sort of frostbitten status or, or something like that, or maybe if you have an ongoing ice damage effect, then you use the thawing belt and it um it would it would cancel that out. But maybe that's what you do, maybe you use it on your armor. Okay. Is there an unusual rock formation like right over here? Oh, okay. No, it's just the dip going back to where we were. That auto map is so useful. It's actually quite good. Oh. I just wish that it was kind of up in the corner the way it is with like Might and Magic 6. Or 7. Ooh. 
Oh, we got caught. I got greedy. Okay, well this worked last time and this is the same configuration, so I mean... Oh no, she's going first. Ooh, 54 damage. He walloped the shit out of her. I almost feel bad. But, like, not super bad. Uh... Let me try it. I'm gonna rest again, and then we'll hit... We'll, we'll do a Thunderbolt. Oh. No whiffs. No whiffs. William, you're buffed and everything. There. If you want something done right, become a wizard and do it yourself. Honestly. If it were me, I would simply become a wizard. And those arrows hurt when they hit, but the men are much less competent archers than the women, which is odd. Like, it's just interesting that they have different stats. I mean, in my experience, men generally tend to be a little bit less competent than women overall anyway. We just think that we're better at stuff. They have to work twice as hard to get half the recognition, so... But these are, like, wizard mutants. So you would think that it would be equality. Like Ariana Grande style. Oh, I bet that's what it is. They have it split up so that the, they're tanking. There we go. Okay, well, let's see what they have. Oh, same thing as last time, actually. Okay, but you can see, yeah, this is what you're talking about. So it's like the, the two guys are wearing chainmail, and, like, the woman was wearing leather armor, and so the trade-off is they have shields and heavier swords, and she has a lighter sword. I guess? I don't know, unless they have the same stats and it's just randomized, because I can also see how... Like, whoever is the archer, whichever one it is, gets the rapier and the leather armor, and everybody else gets chainmail, broadsword, and, and banded shield. Well, what matters is, um, we kick their butts. Ha 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 ha, we win. And what went up? Hey, check it out. Man, he really... Now, I mean, he's wearing a ring of the ranger. Which is plus fifteen, but still, like he's been he's been really holding up his end of things on the scouting. He's been doing well. His defense is up to fifty five, melee sixty four. I'm really hoping that it'll be seventy by the end of this chapter. Since we are down to four tagged skills, it is going up a little bit faster. And honestly, adrenaline has helped with that, I think, because it is you know, he's already in the thick of things in melee, but still. He's even more in the thick of things, and he's getting more effective hits. Okay. All of these are going up. Still no new spell, but that's alright. Sometimes they, they come faster, sometimes they come slower. I've gotten spoiled, because here in the last couple streams, um, we've learned a, just a barrage of new spells compared to how it has been in the past sometimes. Ooh. Okay, more mercenaries. And then... Let me see this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take care of them. And then Durst should just be... Okay, yep. Yeah. There we go. That's the intersection with Camille. So I think I'm going to take care of them. And then we'll go down here and explore this part before we head on over the river. So... Oh my goodness. Hmm. That does sound fun. Let's let's try it, honestly. Okay, can we sneak up? Yes. Get them, boys. 
Hey, and we get the, uh, there we go. Okay, got the surprise round. Let's do it. Okay, so that's the most that adrenaline can do, 40 points of strength. Let's cast this. Now you were right, you're right. Just ambush them in return. Okay, here we go. Oil. And Halder's Brew. Okay. God, I hope this is so much overkill. Please do not. It's going to be so funny if he whiffs this, but I really want him to hit so we can see what he does. Okay, Flaming Sword, Strength Potion, Adrenaline on Full Blast. 50. Okay, well, hmm. I mean, that's not bad. Uh, it just is, unfortunately, not, like, much more impressive than when he was just on adrenaline. But, of course, damage is variable, so, like, his next hit could be bigger. Ah, oh, see, there we go, 61. Now that, that's what we are talking about. <laughs> Suffer. Oh, come on. Look at this. Look at them getting away. Two of them ran for it after they are... Got, they're almost dead. Are they all going to run for it? He ran for it, too. Wow. Yeah, I was, I was kind of expecting him to just, like, turn into giblets. Wow. That's honestly really disappointing. Not the effect. That 61 damage was very satisfying, no. But just the fact that three of them managed to bail after we walloped them that hard? Ugh. Well, that's okay. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened, because we went in buff to the gills, and uh, he smacked the snot out of those first couple guys, and even, like that archer you saw, he didn't even take a hit. He just saw his buddies get uh, get ganked and be like, <laughs> uh, you know, I need to be somewhere else so much right now, like so hard. Okay, a large locked normal chest. No obvious traps. As usual, are there any unobvious traps? No. Okay. Constantly switching rings here. No, so yeah, that was a that was a pretty solid. That was a pretty solid hit. There we go. That should stack with the oil he has. It does not. Hmm, of course. Can we take this? I want to take that. Let me... almost forgot to do this. He did not get hit. Uh... Uh, uh, uh... I don't want to just leave that. Eh... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. This, I know this is dumb. Just bear with me. This is, this is just me being me. I'm going to grab that sword. And I'm going to take it up here. And I'm going to stick it in this guy. There we go. We were gonna pre we're gonna pretend he was dual wielding, and that way I do not have to mark this chest as not empty. I can just leave it. There we go. Makes me feel better anyway. Means it's the last time we have to come down to this chest. You see. Okay. Well, this has been a satisfying little jaunt. There's the bridge. We'll go ahead and... Yeah, 
Yeah, the, the corpses are so much more helpful than, like, the people when they're alive. Anything down here, maybe? I didn't see anything from across the river, but... I, uh... I think it should be illegal for there to be waterfalls in video games and not, like, have something behind them. Pixel would agree vehemently. Every time that I see a waterfall in the distance, I'm like, you know... I'm like that, that Viking from the 13th Warrior with Antonio Banderas. Like, is there a cave? Okay, this is probably, I'm guessing, going to be the last one before we make it to Durst. Okay, I'm going to fall back this time on, because there are four. We're going to be lightning the storm. He's going to come over here and intercept. Then Aaron should get another turn and we'll put Adrenaline on William. That is just such a disgustingly good combo, honestly. He's, he's at... Oh, we've tapped into his health. So let me... I'll drink some Sen water. And... Dren will have to be careful and not accidentally use Muscular Decay on William. Because that would not be very amusing at all. I wonder if the game would let me do that, because you can absolutely hit your allies with attack spells. Okay. Damn it, William. This is serious. Okay. Well, first things first. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see, what other spells can we try? This is a touch spell, unfortunately. Hmm. Armor Light is pretty good, and I'm not using it enough. Maybe we should do that. That way we'll get the skill increase for it, even if it doesn't help William. there and get him so bad, but Aaron will, Aaron will die if I do. I know he will. See, because he's got three health. Dang it. Okay, we're gonna have to... Let me... Ten? Yeah. I think ten will do it. Wow, they didn't kill that guy. I'm surprised. I mean, yeah. Come on, go down. There we go. Because that's kind of like, um... Oh, what's that spell called? Which one is it? Unseeing Eye. This one just doesn't last as long. I feel like it's been somewhat less effective. There we go. See, the good thing is you can cast it like behind an enemy, and then when you attack them into it, it doesn't affect you. But see, look at that. Look how quickly it went off. Like, what even is that? How, how was that seven turns? There we go. Oh, goodness, the two men are tough. They really are. Okay, three down. Four down. All right. Okay. Phew-wee. 
they always present a pretty tough battle, but um, I like it. It's a good fight. Okay, hey, one of them had a fishing pole. You love to see it. We haven't gone fishing in a while, actually. More rope. We have six rope, that's two. I think that stacks up to eight. Yeah, there we go, now we have a full stack. Ah, uh, those dervish discs. I feel like they don't really do anything. The steadfast potion, I can feel a difference. The dervish discs, I, I really feel like I can't. I can't tell when I'm using one. Okay. That's about as good as we're going to get then. We're at 99% of all the things uh actually i think if this is it because that's the intersection over there we can just head on over to durst and they have an inn and yeah that looks like it here we are we're, we've we've completed the circuit how far away is durst it is some distance. That's where we need to go back to eventually, but we need to go to East Bank first. Let's go on up this way to Camille then instead of going to the inn because we've cleared this road, so it's fine. See? There we go. We'll just camp on, on top of this corpse. Don't worry about it. Why are you worrying about it? Stop worrying about it. It was one of these houses over here. And actually, I had, should have put a note and didn't. I think this is the lady that gave us the green key. And this is the dude whose tree was cut down. Yes, here we go. Okay, no, no, no. Don't slam the door in our faces. Here we go. Okay, here we are. William tried to hand the statue to Sumner, who barely caught a glimpse of it before turning away in disgust. I don't want that abomination. How dare you bring it to me? Now Aaron was completely confused. But we thought... I can't even look at it without feeling sick to my stomach. Please, for the sake of my house, go to the woods to the north. Find the stump of our ancestral tree and bury that th thing as deep as you can. Okay. Okay, so we have a sort of a little quest. Uh, let's have a look. Well, we already ha found a dig spot there to the... Uh, to the north but I don't know that it's by a stump okay hmm well the only way is going to be to look for a stump then and we do have oh no oh no I just realized Oh no. Y'all, we don't have a shovel. We are out of shovels. Oh no, we came all this way. Ah, uh, I mean, at least the roads are clear. Okay, um, here's what let's do. Man, I just assumed we had one. Hmm. Let's look around here. Let's see if we can find Does a... it seem awfully quiet all of a sudden? We should be cautious. What? But we came through here. How, how in the world is there a combat encounter left here? Okay, well... Uh, more's the pity for them, because... There's only three of them. And we go first, so... Boom, baby. Uh, 
Unfortunately, these fine gentlemen did not have a shovel. Maybe it's because we circled around and uh, didn't actually come down the main road. We may have done that because we were exploring all through the woods. Okay, I'm going to find the stump if we can. If we can find a tree stump around here, we will put a marker oh. on And then... Uh, we will go shovel hunting. So it, it has to be, like, in this area, right? Because this would be... These are the second forest groves north of town. But I don't see it anywhere. I'm wondering if it really is just, like, some kind of glitch or, like, a texture error... Because there could be a spot, like this This spot right here is suspiciously open. So there could be something right here, and it's just not, like, showing up. Because that has happened before in the game. Hmm. Okay, well, help me look for it here. Keep your eyes peeled. Because since this is a quest stump... Um, it, uh, it may look a little bit different. On the cliff side, so over here on the right. Close to the tree wall. Okay, so it's gonna be... Let's narrow this down. Okay, so it's gonna be on this side, in this area right here. Kind of on the inside of this, maybe? Oh, is this it? That, that's it. From the enormity of the stump, they surmised it had been a Chunese ancestral tree. Axe marks made it clear that the tree hadn't been felled by lightning or other natural occurrence. There we go. Okay. Um, first things first. We are absolutely going to put a marker here. There you go. Thank you all. Okay. Maybe we don't need a shovel. Ah, see, look, there's a paper doll down here. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Tree heads are better than... Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Well, I'm more concerned that the, the tree is like a little dude down here. Uh, hmm. Okay. William and Aaron gingerly laid the idol at the bottom of the hole. There's half the job, Aaron said, glancing at the shovel with a sigh. Oh, okay. So we did get rid of the idol... Uh, but we still are going to have to go and get a shovel someplace. And then come back in order to complete the quest. Big oof. Okay, well then, so the question becomes... Where is the closest place that sells shovels? Does it seem awfully quiet all of a sudden? We should be cautious. Hmm. Huh. There's another instance where... Okay, no, to be fair, because there's a chest over there. I think this is one of those where we kind of wove back and forth like this, and we may have just missed that spot. No harm done. This is just... We're going to stay at the end when we get to Durst anyway. Okay, uh, let's see. Adrenaline. Screw it. 20 points. Oh, he went before William. Oh my goodness. Two of them went before William. Oh. Wow. Huh. Wild. Okay, well, William. We're gonna do that. And then we're gonna do this.
And then, let's see. Our fire skill still needs to come up, so I think let's use this because we haven't gotten to yet. Other than we, we used it one time to kind of see what it did, but we haven't gotten much use out of it. Oof. Don't like that. Stop shooting us. Stop hitting us. Stop doing things that are detrimental to our success. There we go. I'm just going to blow everything because we're about to go sleep at the end regardless. Oof. They saw me being spicy. They saw me being... Like taking risks. Let's see. I'm just going to have him walk over here. Right? They go so much faster now. See, look, that one managed to make it all the way out of the battle. You better not. How did he move that far? This is the true betrayal in Antara. It's us putting in all of this effort to win these fights and stuff, and then the AI just decides that it's got a speed of, like, 8. When usually those enemies have a speed of 5. Gosh, those are some really good flames, though. Okay, there's Durst. Kind of in the distance. Shh. Listen. My really? Okay, well... You guys wait right there. We'll be right with you. Okay, now go. Oh. Uh-oh. A Schumann mage. Okay, well... It's true. Now, last time that we fought a Chumun Mage, uh, they knew Geyser and Lightning Bolt, so... I'm not taking any chances. Oh, crud, I forgot to repair. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder. I really am. Just in case. If we're going to be in melee anyway, we'll come up here and hit this wizard. Oh my goodness, Aaron. Aaron, honey. I was hoping they wouldn't do that so that he would be able to cast it. Down. But it's fine. Okay, let's see if he can go over here. And they don't follow him? Question mark? Oh, he gets another turn. Yes, good. Good. There we go. Get 14 stamina. We'll blow it all on William. Who will hit this guy for... No. Oh. You stop that. I love how the arrow didn't actually fly by that time. It just, it just missed. Oh my goodness. Wizard fight. Wizard fight. Uh-oh. Oh, they've all got bows and arrows now. Okay, well, I'm going to have to take some more send water. I'm, I'm just going to take 10. And... Let's do this. Pop flames. That should take care of him, hopefully, and then William can go up here and put a stop to one of the archers. There we go. Yeah, Kaylin would be horrified. And 
seeing eye on you. Dishonor on you, dishonor on your family. There we go. Okay, now now we're in it. There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. He had a staff of nightmares. Everybody, please welcome back to the stream our old friend, the spooky chicken stick. Gosh. It's not the same spooky chicken stick. But we love it anyway. I would pick it up, except uh, it takes an enormous amount of room. And uh, that guy up in Grandeur with the magic shop wouldn't buy them. He only sells them. He doesn't want to buy used magic staves. Yeah, we love to see an old friend come back. Honestly, I have to be real with y'all. I did hate to let the spooky chicken stick go. It had been with us since, like, chapter two, I think. Maybe. Uh, but just, you know... Oh, they do have a shop. Oh, maybe they have shovels. Oh, but no, it's an herbal shop. Okay. Oh, that's right, because I bought Sin Water here. Oh, but they do have shovels! Oh, they do have shovels. Okay, good, good, good. This is even better. This is even better. We'll get send water for him. Um, and then we will buy some shovels. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, he does not buy the used spooky chicken sticks. I mean, you could have done anything with that spooky chicken stick, right? But thankfully, at least we have Wide Potion to keep us company, to keep us safe while Kaylin is gone. There we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, man, I hope this old man gives us something good. I hope he's so happy. I hope that he's just so pleased that he ascends right in front of us. Like, is this the... This is the part of the story where, uh, like, he throws off his disguise and it turns out that he was a powerful enchantress the entire time. And then because we did all this and unselfishly went out of our way and were kind to to them, that, like, then she, she blesses us and we just, like, level up and all of our stats are maxed or something, right? Right? <sighs> okay. Probably not, but here we go. William and Aaron buried the statue deep, refilling the hole with dirt. After tamping down the soil with the shovel, they sat back for a moment's rest. Whew. Let's hope that's a proper end to it, said William, wiping his brow. God, yeah, me too. And that did cost a shovel, so... Oh, boy... Listen, I have to have hope. That's what that's what carries me forward. Okay, old man. Have you buried that repulsive object? Sumner asked with no preamble. Yes, said William. We did exactly as you requested. Sumner's face softened from anger to sorrow. You've helped right a grievous wrong, lads. I will ask a sister of Sanhedrin to bless the site. And with that, perhaps it will rest in peace. You troubled yourselves with a favor for a stranger. Oh, here it is. Here it comes. He's going to reveal himself as an enchantress. For that, I wish to give you this sapphire. Oh, Oh, how sweet. It, too, has belonged to House Sumner for generations. Because you retrieved the fragment of the ancestral tree, it is right that you receive another family keepsake in return. Okay, and it is here. Okay, it's a pretty pretty high quality sapphire. Well. Well, all right. Uh... <laughs> Uh, 
uh, well, these are late 90s graphics. Everybody already came with fat ankles anyway, so. Uh, well, us and our cankles have got to get out of here. Um. Oof. That was a lot of work for a sapphire. But we did the right thing, and that's what matters. I hope. No, I complain, but I am having fun. I wish that there was a little bit more of an efficient fast travel system. I Like, I wish it didn't cost exorbitant amounts of money to go pretty short distances. Um, but... I am not going to... Uh, I'm not ready to criticize the game. Like, hardline criticize it for that yet. Uh, because, of course, I can complain about it as it's affecting us. Sure. Okay, we did mark that one. Um, but I am holding out hope that there is still going to be some sort of spell or item later on, probably at much higher levels, uh, that allows us to fast travel ourselves. A fly spell, a dimension door, a town portal, a Lloyd's Beacon, something. Some kind of portal spell or, or whatever. Um, because, I mean, that's high level magic in like Might and Magic as well. Right? If y'all were here for Might and Magic 6 and 7, you know that uh, things like Town Portal and Lloyd's Beacon, they're critical spells, but also um, you have to be a master level water mage to do that stuff. So you don't get it for free right out the gate. And that's reasonable. You shouldn't get it for free right out the gate. For a number of reasons. Not least of which is because it's just unrealistic. But also of equal consideration is the fact that, um, uh, you know, at lower levels, you should be forced to engage the world and explore the game. And that's totally okay. You need to learn your way around. You need to poke your nose into all these nooks and crannies as we have done and find these treasure chests and, you know, these... Uh, uh, the, these puzzles and things, and that's great, and I do not, I do not begrudge the game that, um, but it does start to get a little bit tedious, there we go, to run back and forth between some of these, these places over and over again like we just did, and it would be really nice if, um, the fast travel system didn't cost hundreds of burlas, as I said, to go like a, a relatively short distance. A thing. Okay, that's the guy that wants a pearl. Um. Is that every house? Did we check down here too? I guess nobody wants to talk to us. Oh, they got pumpkins. Oh, like you can't actually like walk over that garden. I didn't realize that. I thought you'd just be able to walk through it. Hmm. Okay, so we've come to Durst. We talked to some people. Um, I don't know that there's really anything else to do. Well, their blessing is free. I think. Oh no, it is 125 burlas. That's right. Um. Hmm. That's <laughs> obviously a uh, obviously a, a high ranking one. If he thinks that he deserves his own pearl, right? Okay. So. Um. So, this is the last place that that guy, what was his name, like Simon, I think, like what was known to be. Ooh. Hey, though, did we go up here? Did we explore all of this? I don't think that we did. We found that chest, but... Okay, maybe this is what we're looking for. We need to find some kind of clue 
as to Simon's disappearance. Okay, ooh. Hmm. That looks like it's going to be a fight and a half. Oh, man. Is that... Okay, but that is, yeah, that's a female mage and, and four women. Okay, well, uh, for 5v2, we've got to. We've got to go this way. Yeah, because see, I knew that there'd be like some archers and stuff. Okay. Um. Hey. Lol. Okay, I didn't realize you actually can just repair your stuff in the middle of combat. That's very funny. Okay, let's do flaming. And I think this actually maybe does call for a Halder's Brew, perhaps. Just because I don't know if we can get adrenaline onto him. We may need to do other stuff with Aaron's turn. I'm going to hold off. He can't get to the mage in one shot. So let's start here. And that should put him within range of the mage. Oh my god. Oh my god, I've never seen one of them do that before. So that green glow, I think that was the gift of Sen. Um, which, where is it? This here, yeah, uh, gift of Sen, where you transfer your health to an ally, and the cost is paid in health, not stamina. So I think that she she healed this Chuman uh, and killed herself. Oh my goodness, that never happens. Okay, well. Uh, with her out of the way, I guess we can do an adrenaline spell. Okay, huh. That could have gone worse. Because they know some nasty spells. Wow. She did, and I'm not mad about it. Okay, we can buy more Sen Water and Durst, so I'm going to be kind of free with the Sen Water here. And let's see. Um, hey. Do you know what's really great? Is that Monsoon increases electricity damage. Yeah, and I'm not going to delve into that story because I don't want the story to be that, like, she basically just took a bullet for her lover or something, and then I'm going to feel terrible about the whole thing. There, now they're together. Okay, Monsoon deals a little bit of damage by itself anyway. But then if, like, lightning hits someone in there, um, they're going to take double the normal amount of damage, which is pretty good. Because it hits for 25, so they're going to take 50. Also, it's going to slow them down getting out here to us, which is great. Come on, where's my lightning? Oh, of course I hit the other one. Spells, you've got to work together. That is what you are for. There we go. Thank you, William. Competence is all I demand. Oh, good. The monsoon killed both of them. Nice. Hey. Okay, well, we can put this back on. I'm just going to go ahead and mark that because I know... We're probably not going to be able to pick up everything that's in there. There we go. All right. What did you ladies have? Ooh. Had some uh, fire-resistant leather armor. 
Unwound some Talakor dust. Bunch of chicken. Rations. A single torch. Interesting. Most importantly, four send water. Give that to him. Okay, huh. I'm going to be zesty, and we're going to push up here and see what more we can find before turning around and going right back to the inn. Oh, wow. There is a whole maze up here. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, boy. Okay, then let's go back down this way, and if that's going to be the case, let's explore as much as we can to minimize trips back, and then we will go to the inn and rest, because you know there's going to be some combat. There's going to be more encounters. Okay, good. All this is going up for him. Oh, his defense increased. Love it. Touch went up. Damage... Fire is getting there. I keep having to remind myself that his fire is actually only 52. Um, and because the staff is adding 10. 68. Self and allies almost maxed out. How's our spell coming along? Ooh, we learned it. We learned it. And yeah, of course, that's a combat spell. So we'll have to see what it does. All right, fair enough. We even have shovels. We don't have a lot of room in our backpacks, but if we do find a dig spot, we can see what's in there. Okay. Alright, so this is the path that goes this way. I'm going to go back around and go to the dead end. Because you gotta. I wasn't expecting this. I don't remember this being here. I feel like I must have known and decided to put it off until later or something because we, we found that chest. Oh, and there is a dig cache. Of course. Okay, well. Um, let's see what's in there. Fidali paste. Okay, we'll take that. Let's mark that. Okay. Well, that's part of it done. It looks like I said that's a dead end too. This might be one, but we'll have to cover a little bit more of the map. All right. I wonder if Simon is back here. So we have to find him, and then we have to find the shepherd's headquarters. Okay, we gotta go. Gotta keep going north. And then we're going to take the next left. We're going to hang a sharp kind of hairpin left here. Ah, I see enemies up there, though. Mm, mm-hmm. We can rest while we're down here away from them. Because remember, it's like invisible ambush enemies. As long as you can't see them, it's safe to rest. You just have to not be able to see them. It doesn't even matter if they can see you. You just have to not be able to see them. The ambush proves that because the ambushers know we're, we're there. Right? Okay, let's see if the shadow ring works this time. That last time I feel like they didn't let me get close enough to, to click. Here we go. Come on, boys. Oh, Aaron, damn it. Well, that's alright. It's okay. Um, I'm going to keep casting Adrenaline because it keeps working. And also I want Self and Ally to go up so that we will max that out and learn more spells. There we go. That should make him the prime target. Oh, no, he ditched him for Aaron. Okay, well that's alright. Oof. The more fool you, Aaron's not defenseless. 
There we go. We'll get at least one of them if the others decide to flee. What's this guy even doing over here? Who cares? You're not getting away. Wow. Yeah, he's got to go down because he's a good enough archer that apparently, even with unseeing eye on, he can still do a big hit, so... Let's take him out as quickly as possible. There we go. Oh, oh no, he's poisoned. Oh, he's poisoned. Did you see that green screen down there? Okay, well... Wait a minute before I do this. Okay, his health is at 32. Okay, so let's keep it that way. I don't want to chew into his health. Because that's already... That's going to be in Williams, I'm sure. Oof. I'm going to have to drink some sten uh, Sen water. Yeah, I think he is. Okay, well, we will drink this, like, odd number of potions that we found just a moment ago. William, you have to hit him, my guy. No, I don't want to abort the spell. Well, okay. Alright, we're just going to have to... There. That should help. There we go. Shoot me. William, yeah, William is indeed poisoned. Okay, they have some ale. There's the poisoned longsword. Rope and torches. Okay, but hey, now we can see the whole thing. Okay, so we can keep going this way. That's going to dead end. Then we'll loop back around, and that one does dead end as well. Okay. Okay, not bad. We are running low on armors, hammers, and whetstone there. Friends. There we go. Hey, no longer poisoned. Oh, nope. He still is poisoned. He is still poisoned. Now he's not poisoned anymore. I remember one of you saying something about that at one point in the past, where it didn't take one Fidali paste to cure poisoning. It, it takes three for some reason. Maybe because they... I guess they want to impress upon you that poison is like a, is a serious ooh uh, is a serious status effect. Well, 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 check this out. Two chests. Okay, does not appear to be trapped. Since his scouting went up from that, I'm going to assume that he's correct. Hey, okay, and it does appear to be trapped. Thank you, Lucky Charm. Man, that thing's been so good. It's been so good. Alright, let's see what's in here. We'll try the trapped one first. I don't know about that, but... Okay, oil and talacor dust. Uh... Yeah... I'm going to put that oil away. I'm going to take this stack of five. And now this one. Hey. Very nice. Ooh, and a whetstone. Now, we were just talking about that. Okay, so... First things first, there's there's a lot going on here. We've found another thawing belt that is only the second one we found. We found some more grounding wire. 
Um, a bigger stack, too. Do those stack together? They do not. So if we're going to keep that, I'm definitely going to take the bigger one. But we haven't been using it. Haven't used the thawing belt, either. He is going to definitely take that whetstone, though, because we've only got one more use on the other one. I think I'm just going to have to mark these as not empty. And then we're going to have to go on. That's okay. That just means treasure to come back for later. Okay. Well, y'all, uh, I apologize. I don't know if we're going to find Simon or whatever his name is um, in this stream. I was hoping that that's what we would do. I, I thought that, you know, we would go... We would we would deliver that tree idol. There isn't a, there's a literal invisible wall there. Can I go this way? No. Uh I'm just gonna rest all the way. What does it matter? Um so there there is a literal right there like in kind of a curve there's an actual like invisible wall that I could not get through oh there's more oh wow is there like an invisible maze like is this on purpose oh man what if I got stuck in here and soft lock the game though uh I do seem to be making some little progress. Um, let's see what spells are going up here because I heard a couple of different level up noises. Hmm. Uh, this is really strange. I, I was about to say, you know, I, I wanted to do the tree idol thing and then, you know, find Simon but and I mean that's still true but look at this this is this is really weird is this intentional because there's nothing on the map here it doesn't look like I can get any further that way There is something there, because look, I'm bumping into it from this side. What in the world? Uh... Hmm. Huh. Well, I, I don't know what to do about this. Um... It doesn't seem like I can go any further than right here. Yeah, I don't I can't find a place to like that that feels like an opening. I can't find any place that seems to be like meant for me to slip through. I can go around this one and then get up in here and it's like there's another little hollow and then this second wall appears to be solid and to go all the way across. Huh. Okay. Well. Um. I don't know what that, what that is. So I guess that means it's time to go back to the south. Um, this could be like a quest-related thing. Someone might mention it. Ooh. 
Uh oh. Oh no. Can we get out? Don't make me load it now. It went this way. Oh wow. Uh, y'all, I think we might be stuck. Okay, um, I may have to load it. Yeah, I'm actually going to have to load it. So at least we are, like, right here. Okay, um, hmm. Don't know what that is. Don't know if that's intentional or a glitch. Um, maybe it's a quest thing where, like, someone oh. is going to, um, mention it to us. They're going to talk to us about it. For all I know, that could be where the Shepherd's Headquarters is, and, you know, we have to have the, the password or some kind of magic MacGuffin to get in there. I don't know, that's, that's pretty wild, though. I was not expecting that. Because there have been a, a couple of, like, major glitches in Antara, but that's the first time I feel like we've seen something like that. Okay. Well, we're back on the trail. So... Now, with that area explored, um, we need to figure out where this Simon guy is. Um, we checked all these areas. There, there were people who did talk to us before but they don't seem interested now. Right here, the, the pearl guy. Which I suppose we should actually leave a marker for him? Like I said a minute ago, I've been bad about doing that. I should be doing it more. Um... But I don't know what else to really do. Yeah, it could be like that time um, when we were down here around Logano and that Temple of Henna just, like, didn't spawn in. And there was a weird path that, like, led off over to the side of it into the middle of the mountains and nowhere that wasn't even supposed to be there. And I, actually, I had to actually replace a game file temporarily to unlock that and go in and of course I wasn't able to do that while I was live streaming um, but if y'all roll back um, earlier in the series I don't remember which episode that was but feel free to hop over to YouTube and uh, I, I did tack that footage on to one episode um, okay so I since nobody will talk to us, I'm kind of at a loss. Uh, I don't really know what else we should be doing to get, like, answers. I don't see any... I don't see any back doors on this side. Let's look on the other side. Because that's not been, like, a big thing, but it did happen in Chorus Landing, so... Nope. No. Okay. So. Uh. Hmm. 
Oh, you know what I should do? He's got 15, he's got 10. I'm gonna go down here while we're thinking about it and buy another stack of send water. There we go. Um, suggestions? I, I am open to them. Uh, the only thing we haven't done in town is get blessed at the temple, and I don't know what that would do, because Henna's blessing, I think, just... What is it? Is it reduces your food consumption or something? Um... Okay, so... Maybe we... Why would there be a Temple of Henna here? Unless we needed to use it or interact with it somehow. Um, I think, was it this house that had the Chuman guy in it? And we had a whole conversation about how, like, everybody had accepted him or, and stuff. So maybe, like, Hannah has a temple here to represent the fact that the people of Durstar are good people and they're not, um, like, ableist, racist bigots. Which was a nice surprise. Um, because there have been so many people who are, like, racist against the Mayrod and, and so on. And then this lady talked about how, how great he was with the kids... And when she had to go away, sometimes, like, he would babysit. Um, Henna is the child god, right? Or, like, god of children, so... Yeah, we're still looking for Simon. We're still looking for Simon. Maybe... If we were blessed by Henna... You see, is that a different person? Welcome to Henna's oh, Chapel, shit. my friends. I am Jana. What a lovely day it is. Yes. Why, yes, it is a lovely day. Uh. What the frick? Okay. I get. No, I didn't figure out shit. Um, because I came in here, my, my thought was that maybe if we got blessed, then we could talk to the woman in the house outside who had the kids. And maybe if we were, if we were blessed, maybe she would speak with us again because we would have like a friendly aura of child safety about us. And that maybe the, the Chuman neighbor conversation was like a clue to that. And that's why there's a temple of henna here. That's kind of what I was working my way around. No, I had no idea. I didn't see that. Could we have talked to her before? And I just missed it? Because I thought that I moved my cursor over everybody. I usually do that when I come into places like this. Well, you know, I may have done. And maybe if... Maybe... If you have to have the blessing to talk to her, the little head cursor may not have come up. But that's a bad clue, if that's the case. Oh, okay. Okay, that's kind of a bad clue, because, like... I feel like the straightest line to that is kind of the way that I was going, but, like, that's a really weak thread... Is you, you talk to the people outside and they're like, oh no, this mutant who lives across the road from me, he's really good with children and we love that about him. And that's like a core component of our community. And then you come in here to the church and that's supposed to convince you that you should, that you should get blessed and then suddenly she activates as an NPC or something. So unless I have missed a link in that chain, that is really obtuse because I, I can't think of any other clues that we got that she was here or that we were supposed to speak with her now to be fair to the game because like before i get too salty um yeah yeah right see that's like <laughs> some sometimes it feels like you can only play certain games with a walkthrough um but this is not the zodiac spear nor should it be uh and that's been a rare thing for antara 
So, so before I get too salty, it may just be that they did give us a clue way back in like Isten or something, and it's just been like four episodes and I forgot. So, yeah, ex exactly. That's that's me. I would have to go back and watch my own vods. So whatever. Okay. Uh, well, we're talking to her now. So rather than me sitting here complaining, let's let's hear what she has to say. I'm surprised to see a chapel of henna in Chuno. Me too. From what I've seen, it looks like the people around here worship trees, not the Triune. Oh no. The people of Chuno believe in the Triune, as do all the people of Antara. Chuni's tree reverence is a matter of long-standing tradition and respect, but they do not worship them as deities. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's an interesting little bit of lore, because that explains more about why that guy Sumner was kind of tore up about his family's ancestral tree. How old is this tradition? I'm not from Chuno, but when I was assigned Wordwall. to this chapel, I did some research. The tradition is quite ancient, dating back hundreds of years to after the disaster that created the Waste. That catastrophe destroyed the previous Chuni civilization, leaving a shattered, dispirited people. The process of renewal began with the creation of the ancestral tree tradition. It has since come to symbolize the cycle of nature, the strength of these people, and their ties to the past. If you'd like to know more, ask the Sisters of Sinedrin. Their healing efforts had much to do with the Chunese resurgence. Interesting. Okay, we do love a little peek into the setting lore, and actually that that kind of makes it make more sense why there would be a Temple of Henna here, because, like, Henna is the god of joy and celebration as well, and so... Henna's clergy may have been drawn to found a temple here because the people of Chuno had such bad morale after the disaster. And so they came here to try and lift people's spirits because because they they, they serve a god of joy, which that's kind of cool. That's 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 kind of neat. There's a little something for your next D&D campaign. We were hoping you could help us find another child of Henna. His name is Simon. I haven't oh. met him, but a stranger is just a friend whose name you do not know. Unless it happens to be a stranger with a knife at your throat. Maybe you've heard tell of him then. Oh, wait. He serves somewhere in this area. Oh, now I recollect. The child Simon was reassigned by the revered hand. I was honored to replace him at this chapel. Okay, no, that jogged my memory. I think I remember. When we talked to Simon's mother, the actress, back in Isten, she talked about how flighty he was and like what a what a dilettante he was. Um, he was always getting into something new and couldn't be pinned down, and so he would lose interest in in hobbies or he would throw himself wholly, wholly into these causes and and then abandon them, you know, within six months or a year. And I think that she did say, and I might be making this up in my head, I don't know, but like. I'm trying to give the game credit where it's due. Um, because as I said, it's been like four or five episodes since we were over there. So I, it's my memories are fuzzy, but I feel like I remember her saying that she had taken, or, or that Simon had taken up with the children of Henna. I think that that's actually correct. Okay, okay, no, so they, they did give us the clue, if that's true. And I will have to go back and look at my own VOD. Um, because I have been keeping bad notes. I got lazy and didn't and didn't put that in my notes. But if that's true, then we would come here and talk to people at the temple asking where he was at. And that also explain okay, good, good, I'm not crazy. Okay, so you you good. Okay, so that's what happened. And that also might explain why the head of the Church of Henna, the Revered Hand, was just standing outside of Tikoro. So are we going to have to go all the way back to Tikoro and talk to him? Who is the Revered Hand? Balak Mar, the Revered Hand of the Children. He lives in the glorious Cathedral of Tikoro. He is the eye that watches o'er us. He is the heart that beats for us. He is the voice that commands us. He is the Hand. Okay. And that's it? 
All right. Join me in a song of joy. Dewdrops on the spider web, sparkling in the morning sun. Come on, Aaron. We should go. Maybe sometime we could come back. I'd like very much to hear how that song ends. Uh, hmm. Okay. Huh. Yeah, Aaron is such a nerd, but we love him. He's a good boy. Aaron is a cinnamon roll. Okay, folks. Yeah, we've got to go, uh... We've got to go talk to the hand. Oh, Lord, that's going to be the name of the next episode, isn't it? I apologize in advance. Um, at least those of you who are here now will be prepared. So he's all the way back in Tekoro. Um Okay, so what we can do is we can fast travel back to Chorus Landing. And then we can just walk down to Tekoro which uh, from Varnas, which is a very short jaunt actually um, because right here at this intersection is where Mackie is at all right um it's close enough to time I think that that is probably best left for the next episode what I am gonna do I'm gonna save it and then I want to walk over here I want to see if maybe we can get to Frio Friole, Fridole, um, because if oh. if we are allowed to go this far, I kind of want to see where our boundaries are, and I want to see. Yeah, it's gonna let us go. I want to see what's in the town, while we sort of wrap things up. Hmm. The locked door wouldn't budge. Oh, another locked barn. Well, the last time we saw a locked barn, uh, there was a young wizard. Who, or mage who had slept in it and that's where we got our fire staff so maybe we'll get lucky and the same thing will happen this time the farmer greeted the companions uh, we don't see many strangers in Friol you're welcome to sleep in my barn if you like party thanked him for his kindness then noticed his deeply pocked face and arms I don't mean to be rude but couldn't help notice you've had a pox farmer rubbed his face sadly I'm one of the few survivors in Friol. Damn near the whole town was wiped out. This was one of the first places hit. The feeble pox came through, striking people down before the disease even had itself a name. The village is only now just beginning to get itself back on its feet. I'm sorry. All of Antara was hit hard, but it sounds like Friol got more than its fair share. The farmer swallowed hard. Ain't nothing fair about feeble pox carried off my wife and children like they were twigs in a windstorm. Wow. Uh, that's a that's a dark note to end on. Let's see if anybody else is more cheerful. A handsome young man opened the door. Mm, we're interested. Don't I know you? He said, a quizzical look on his face. Oh no. Then suddenly recognition dawned. He grabbed William's hand and pumped it vigorously. Then he called to someone inside the cottage. Cherise, my angel, come here! A beautiful girl with thick auburn hair appeared at his side. Who is it, Benji? Oh my. Oh no, they're both hot. Do you remember me telling you how I lost the, the rings in, in a foolish attempt to keep you from marrying my brother? Oh. Oh. No, this is a much better note to end on. What? Oh my gosh. Is this the couple from way back in, in Logano and, and like... Yes, but what... The girl looked puzzled. William tried to help out. Uh, we merely cleared the road of Montari and found the rings. Benji did all the rest himself. After hearing so much about you from other sources, I'm very pleased to meet you, Charisse. Charisse profusely thanked William and Aaron for aiding their elopement in Sortiga. Aaron asked, So you ran off to Friel? Uh, isn't it a rather depressing village to live in? Benji put his arm around Charisse, drawing her close. We don't think so. Sure, the town went through bad times, but it's exciting to have the chance to build something up from scratch, try and willing. Oh, I can see that. Um, or I can see how it would be at that. 
Did your father ever forgive you, Charisse? Charisse sighed. No, not yet. But he may when his first grandchild comes along. She laughed. Of course, Benji's brother is still furious. I'm afraid I proved a um, bad return on his investment. With just a trace of wistfulness, William wished the newlyweds henna's blessing on their new life together. I'm sure you two will be blissfully happy together. Charisse looked up at her husband. He met her gaze with love and a tinge of amazement at his own good fortune. Yes. I'm sure we will. All right. That was a long time coming. Oh my goodness gracious, the payoff, because this is way back um, when, like, that... Remember, I just mentioned the Temple of Henna that was glitched out in Logano. In order to complete all this quest and do all of that, uh, we, we had to get to that temple. We had to clear out the Montari, like, through this whole area around Panizzo and Sortiga and stuff. We had to dig up those rings from the beach. So, yeah, this is... Man, that's been so long ago. This is where they wound up, but they did get a happy ending. So we did it. We did it. Everything came out okay. All right. Well, that's that's much better than um, um, than the farmer, the farmer's story. Oof. Um, oh, good, and we can buy armorers' hammers as well. Good, 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 because we're gonna need those and shovels. Hey. Speaking of which. Okay. I couldn't remember if I had repaired after the last fight or not. Um, we'll stay at the inn as well, but... Okay, another empty cottage. Ooh. Okay. Let me put a marker there for that. Because... We will probably want that free uh, whetstone. Well, what a lovely note to end on, and I'm so glad that um, that that had a happy a happy outcome. Hey, free shovels! You love to see it. Oops. There we go. Okay. Well, I think that that is a, uh, a wonderful place to leave off. And we know that our goal next time is we are going to have to head back to Tikoro. We are going to have to talk to uh, the revered hand of Henna. Oh, there's a free bow. Do we have room for it? And uh, we're going to have to see what became of Simon. So we will do that next Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is New York and Miami time here in the U.S. And uh, in the meantime, oof. In the meantime, it looks like my, my menu is a little glitched out, which is upsetting, but, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, so yeah, in the in the meantime, uh, be sure to go back and uh, check out the series on YouTube. You can watch the VODs, you can catch up on the story of Benji and Sharice, um, and the uh, that trip to the Temple of Henna in Logano where I had to change the game files around. You can see all of that action over there. Be sure to follow and subscribe here on Twitch and over on YouTube if you're not already. Turn on notifications. Follow over on Twitter and Facebook on Pillowfort so that you can see when we go live here and, uh, you know, when we have new stuff coming up to announce, new series and whatever, and you can be a part of it all. And, uh, yeah, I think that covers it. I think that covers it. So, um... I'm really glad that y'all were here for this and got to see the big payoff because if you've been here since the beginning, you know that, like I said, that's a long time coming for, for them. That's, uh, that's really great. I feel good about that. And I hope that y'all do too, because you have been a part of it. So I thank you 
and uh, Benji and Sharice, thank you. And I'll see you next time for more Betrayal and Antara. Until then, as always, thanks for playing.